I will miss Representative Silent Bob, although I saw him rarely, and heard him more rarely still. They called him Silent Bob. Now, I regret to acknowledge his silence has become permanent. Representative Robert Hull of Grafton, New Hampshire, acquired that honorific only with the greatest persistence and dedication to the furtherance of human freedom in our happy yet overgoverned region. The very location from which his silence exuberated <clears throat> was itself a matter of import. In the year of our Lord, 2003, the studies had been undertaken to determine the following. If New Hampshire was the least unfree state in this nanny empire, then which town within it was the least unfree? This research quickly settled on Grafton, one of the few American towns to lack zoning. Its police force of sometimes one, sometimes two, was less odious than most and not anxious for conflict with philosophical opponents. And the town was home to New Hampshire's libertarian gubernatorial candidate, Mr. Babiars. Members of an organization known as the Free Town Project an offshoot of sorts to the Free State Project and its libertarian migration, began urging freedom-loving persons to relocate there, perhaps the freest town in the freest state. Bob Hall, temporarily and unhappily marooned in another eastern police state, wasted little time in accepting and undertaking this mission, reportedly becoming the largest landholder in Grafton, uh, then relocating there. Renting out tolerant access to his own home, as well as one or more quaint and rural farmhouses. Many freedom lovers, including myself, made good use of these humble but enjoyable facilities. Over the years, perhaps 40 incoming liberty activists, known here as free staters, made Grafton their home. Though not always decisive, uh, this was a force to be reckoned with in a town of under 1,500s in population. Almost before their arrival, the so-called Free Towners became the source of much fearful but sometimes understandable uh, clucking amongst the local authoritarian faction. A tense and well-attended town meeting was organized uh, that very first year, to which the photographic, <laughs> photogenic anarchist Ms. Phillips, then president of the Free State Project, traveled and presented our case. Insults were exchanged, statewide publicity was effected, and hundreds of new signers flocked to join the Free State Project from around the nation as a result. One moment. KBO... KBO, Winston will be back. <clears throat> oh, bugger. Uh, Mr. Phillips, the president of the uh, yeah, yeah. Insults were exchanged. Statewide publicity was affected in hundreds of years. Oh, I already said that. Already said, uh, my apologies. K um, KBO, KBO. Um, perhaps uh, mm, around the nation is a real. Perhaps more importantly, some Grafton residents, suspicious of the monopoly institutions which misgovern even the freest locales, found themselves in approval of the endeavor, and bonds began to form, of which I am happy to have eventually been a part. Grafton became the scene of small festivals, 
its new immigrants, too small in number to fulfill the dire apprehensions, <laughs> too, too small in number to fulfill the dire apprehensions prophesied uh, by the minions of bureaucracy, and nevertheless out, uh, set about cleaning government properties, videotaping uncomfortable officials, ejecting perhaps two from their civic portfolios, descending upon town meetings, and running for office. One verbal duel with federal employees, uh, filmed by myself, after I re relocated to Grafton, appeared on uh, the network uh, known as CNN. A marijuana raid was undertaken, uh, directed against a friend of the Freetown Endeavor, who had long resided in Grafton, and was, if memory serves, happily disconnected uh, from its electricity. Activists descended upon the scene. The prosecution was resisted in the courts, brought to a respectable conclusion, and the friend of Silent Bob, who we christened Solar Power Bob, was returned to us with relative haste, his honor and duty of constructive defiance unsullied. Mm. One moment. One moment. Carry on. Carry on. All right. Very well. Very well. Yes. Very well. Good. All is good. Well, uh, the photographic apparatus is continuing to function. Ah, uh, the silent bob uh, christened the uh, solar power unsullied sister. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, serious. This is a serious matter, actually. Uh, a, a historic church, uh, which no one else would buy, was purchased in the main town square, its owner a free stater. There, still more exuberant gatherings ensued. The building became a platform of anti-war musings and monuments to the victims of nation-state. Uh, though uh, functioning as a public facility and place of ecumenical worship, it became uh, the target of taxation. Then, mysteriously, burned. The building survived. Its owner, Mr. Cannell, uh, did not. Mystery deepened and was never unraveled. Sober and mortal contemplations descended upon the scene, but emigrations continued. Through it all, Silent Bob remained steadfast above, true to his name, benevolent, accepting, but rarely vocal. His many runs for office culminated in many disappointments until his day arrived and he became Grafton's state representative. There he efforted a change in statute, aiming to protect uh, me and others like me from the cruel retaliations which are everywhere possible when we endeavor to video record operatives of state. He did, we may be sure, many other things, of which we know little, for it was not his way to self-congratulate. After he left us in 2019, a memorial service was undertaken at the center of his adopted and now beloved hometown. <clears throat> a friend remarked that it was the type of ceremony he would have wished to avoid in life. But now... He was in an urn, and could be easily compelled to attend. So comes to its conclusion uh, the unremarkable story of an unassuming man who was nevertheless part of a singular and most helpful endeavor, cunning by its very simplicity. Its greatness was in the small, its achievement in its humility. The scheme was crowned with more successes uh, than other libertarian endeavors endeavors because it relied on one simple expedient location simply designate a locale where relative freedom survives and can be deepened if you are in the least unfree part of the least unfree place it may be postulated that the number of things which can go wrong is proportionally reduced with a shining potential uh, dramatically increased. I will miss Representative Silent Bob, 
although I saw him rarely, and heard him more rarely still. In this I am not alone, and he is not forgotten.'"